Hi, this is Nathan. Recently, I'm working on this project. This is a next tube display. Well, it's not a real next tube. It's a display inside a glass shade. It's all started from this real next tube. Next tube is an old technology from the last century. Numbers from there to nine are all inside this glass cylinder. Also, the gases like neon and argon. Unfortunately, this one in my hand is broken because of the gas leakage. To light up this tube, you need to provide a voltage about 150 volts. Someone already made a clock using this tube, but the price is pretty high. And I think one of the reasons is that the tube itself is expensive. Because people don't use them anymore, the factory no longer produces, they can only rely on their inventory. Therefore, my plan is to use a screen to simulate it. Use pictures generated by AI to make it look like an exit tube. I bought this glass shade online and turned off them for only about $2. And this 0.96 displays are also cheap, each one for only under 50 cents. The sizes of these two components are just right. There are still a few components I need to determine. The first one, MCU. It needs at least 8 GPL pins, 2 SPI and 1 UART. The 8 GPLs, 6 for the screen, 1 for the LED and 1 for the storage flash. That's a cheap selection pin for them. The LED and storage flash also needs SPIs for each of them. This thing is a part of another bigger project, so I leave an UART port to communicate with the other MCU. To meet the requirements above, I choose an SM32 R76. In this picture, the green ones are active while the green ones are inactive. That means if you like, you can choose other MCU that is cheaper and smaller than this one. The second thing I need to determine is the flash. The memory on the MCU is 512 kilobytes. If I want to keep more pictures, I need an extra storage flash. I choose W25Q128 SPF flash. It provides a storage space of 16 megabytes. It can store hundreds of images. The last thing, LED WI2812 works perfectly. A single signal wire can control all the LEDs. After the selection, I designed PCB for the display first. It has a screen and LED and can be easily plugged into the base. Spread solder paste on the pads, go easy on the amount, or soldering gets tough. If you are not using the solder paste right away, put it in the fridge, otherwise it will dry out. When soldering the screen, apply solder paste to both the screen and the circuit board. It makes soldering way easier. After soldering, use hot glue to stick the screen to the circuit board. It will hold super tight. I need to display a 6 digit number, so I made 6 of them. Next is the main part. This is the circuit schematic. I put all the resources in the description below. You can find it there. I use the white color on this circuit board. It looks very nice. Plug six sockets into the circuit board and solder them in place. Soldering the electronic components took some time. I 3D printed this base to install the glass shade. When it's finally finished, you need to fix it with glue. There are still two sockets that need to be soldered, one for power supply and the other for the data communication. Make sure the socket fits tightly against the circuit board. Wait a second, and I guess what this tool is for. The answer is, it's for making data cables. This tool isn't a must-have, but it will speed up your building process. You can totally use other tools to make this wire.
connect all the wires and USB to TDL converter. This converter is for communication between your computer and the MCU. It can be integrated into a circuit board, but that will add cost and complicate the design. Connect to the USB and the power voltage is 5 volts. Before writing the code, I need to put the pictures into the flash. This flash memory is widely used, including in many computer motherboards. The easiest way to write data to this flash memory is with this clip, plus the corresponding software. First convert all the images to binary files, then use this software to write them into the flash. Preparation is done, next up is coding. That's where I spent the most time on the whole project. I used AI Allow to help me write the code. Without it, I would have needed way more time. Now, let's turn it on. First light up the screen, then turn on the LED lights. The LEDs are also controlled by the MCU. You can write code to achieve any effect you want. I've stored file sets of images with different styles. They can be controlled via commands sent through the UART interface. My code has implemented the drivers for display and communication. You can develop further based on this foundation. Quick friendly tip before the end of this video, watch out for the glass.